All right, today we're working on a 2016 Husqvarna TE300. And forgive me, I already tore this apart because I had to figure out how it worked. I've seen a lot of conflicting videos, so I thought I would make one for this specific Brembo setup. So, uh, not too good with the videography, but we'll see what we can do. All right, so obviously this is the cap that holds all the brake juice. Take that off and take a, I just used a turkey baster. You can swipe one from the kitchen without getting in trouble. And then just pull as much as you can out, just so you're not making a mess. And then this one here is the uh, actual brake line that goes back to the caliper. And something to remember, that has in it a uh, little crush washer. And if you have a new kit, there's going to be one, a new one with that. So replace that because they, uh, the new ones are better. They're less crushed. All right, so we're popping this off with our 35 or 30 T30, or I think it's an eight millimeter, whatever. Now, when you get this off, it's not going to be devoid of all these parts like it is now. But here's the pieces that you will remove. So you've already at that point removed the cap and the line that goes to the brake line. This thing here, another 30 uh, T30 comes out. And then once you, that comes out, there's this spring inside here and then this plunger deal that uh, comes with your kit. And notice there's a slot in that plunger and that lines up with that pin that, you, that goes in there. So it's, it was, mine was kind of dirty. It was hard to get out of there. I had to sort of um, just beat it senseless with the brake clean, but it eventually came out. So now you've got this thing, clean it up, get in there, clean the window, just you know, knock it dead with some brake clean, and then basically you're gonna replace all these parts. So my kit came with another plunger and spring. It also came with another of one of these pins that uh, this here, and it looks, this looks like it had some, I don't know if that's just rust or something, but it might've had some Loctite on it, I'm not sure, but you, you'll put the pin in and put this in, and then uh, there's no C-clip on this. I've seen a lot of videos where they're saying there's a C-clip or some sort of a circlip. There's not. It's all held in by this job here. So that is how you do that, and then we'll talk about bleeding it in a bit. Oh, also, I removed this from the brake lever just to make it easier to get in there and get the caliper out. And it, it was all gross anyway, so uh, don't you can remove that as well. So, here are the things that came with the kit to rebuild this caliper. We've got an O-ring that goes on the cap, replaces the one that comes on the cap. We've got these crush washers, two of those, one that goes on the back at the caliper, and one that goes on the uh, master cylinder there. Here's the pin I was talking about. That's going to go in right here once we get the spring and then the plunger in. And, of course, finally, here's the spring and the plunger. These are pretty cheap kits, 30, 35 bucks, something like that at the shop. Uh, you can find them all over the place. And um, just make sure they fit your bike. I think it's something like 2012 to 2016 KTMs and Huskies, 300s with the Brembo brakes. All right, so uh, now we're going to put everything back in. Okay, so assembly. So we've got our master cylinder. The first piece I'm going to clean up is this thing here. It had a bunch of yucky, gooey stuff in it. So we're going to replace the O-ring that's on it. This one's pretty simple. That just goes on there. Okay. Now... We need the plunger and the spring. Uh, I've also heard people trying to, you know, how do you, is there some assembly loop for these? Is there some sort of, somebody even said brake grease. I don't know what brake grease is. It seems like a bad thing, but I'm just going to use a little bit of brake foot. So I've got my dot four. And we'll just put a little bit on here to pre-funk it. Now, spring goes in first. And then the end with the slots goes in second, and that goes parallel to how the pin's going to be installed. So, like that. Okay. Oh, can't really see that too well. Right there. So the pin is going to go in here, and it needs to line up with those slots on there. And then you're going to have to depress 
the pin or the uh, the plunger a little bit so that the pin can fit in there. And I see this does have some sort of a Loctite or something on it. So, all right. So, I'm gonna push that in, and that goes in just fine. And then we're just gonna snug that up. I have no idea what the torque spec on something like this would be. We're just gonna say nice and snug. Okay. All right, now the crush rushers will wait for. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, next step's going to be to double clean it, make sure it's all good. This stuff's all snugged down. We're going to attach it to the bike. Then we'll do our new washer, put the brake line in, fill it with sauce, and start our bleeding process. Okay, got it all back together, and it works. I didn't film it because uh, I ended up not filming it because I got a bit of a special situation. So somewhere along the line, I completely snapped off my the nipple off my brake bleeder bolt that's supposed to, you know, be able to attach a little tube to and let all the air out. But there's plenty of brake bleeding videos that you can find. They're all pretty much the same. You have a little, well, I can show you on the front. Totally broke off all that stuff. So anyway, attach a little piece of hose to that. And uh, just so it doesn't uh, make a mess on your bike, really. Attach a little tube, let it drain down a little bit into a drain pan. And then what you're going to do is put some, leave the cap off of here. Put some, you can fill it almost all the way up and then start pumping your brake. And so, boop, 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 boop. once you get a little bit of attention, you're gonna release that uh, brake bleeder bolt. And where's my wrench? You can just keep a wrench on it and then just loosen it and it'll go and it'll spray some juice out, tighten it back up. Do the same thing again, pump it a little bit more, hold it down and then release this a little bit it'll let out more and when it stops making a hissing sound and it's just brake fluid dripping out you know you're done also it'll start to feel good you know you'll start to get a good feeling on the pedal itself but that's it all right